Hello, bright beacons, happy solstice. Wanted to come outside um, to do this live for you today. So hoping that the Wi-Fi continues to work and that you can see me. I can't see anything. Ah, but I can feel the sun oh, on my shoulders. So, so nice and I really hope that all of you are taking a moment at least to get outside today. A really beautiful thing to do, it's uh, too late now unless you've magically done it, a really beautiful thing to do is to, on, on the solstice, to be up with the sunrise and just be out all day and really feel, yeah, with that awareness of being being outdoors so Jen I know you're wild camping at the moment so that's absolutely perfect and then being with the sun as it goes down as well on on the longest day so solstice means sun stand still and of course we have two of those during the year one midwinter and this one today midsummer a really great time you know think about the lover energy that it's really really peak lover energy um, being out there shining bright so beautiful full beautiful beautiful time to to meditate on abundance on fruitfulness on everything you've accomplished everything that's happened that you're really proud of all the seeds that you've sown and that you've been nurturing and tending to really great time to spend some time celebrating yourself and your accomplishments and then taking a moment to look forward to the second part of the year and you know what you want to be reaping what you want to be experiencing in the second half of the year and with that is there anything that you need to let go of anything that you do not want to continue creating, anything that you do not want to be putting your energy into and having come to fruition, um, you know, and harvesting in the second half of the year. So really looking at what you do want to continue putting your energy and your focus and your attention into and what you do not and uh, putting a, a lie in the sand, making sure that you let go of that you might want to write it on some paper and burn it or let it flow away down a stream, whichever feels good for you. And then the third part of solstice, which feels really, really important, is the fact that it is that peak, peak moment of sunshine, of daylight hours, shortest night, longest longest day shortest night you know it's a moment we wait for all through the dark winter we're like oh, oh when's the sun coming oh my goodness the days are lengthening and we get really excited most of us and then it comes and then it's gone and then the nights start to lengthen and the days start to shorten and we get less and less daylight hour and so the invitation with that is to live in the moment, to not be waiting for the next moment when it's different, when there's more sun, when there's less dark nights, to just be with whatever is. And so they are the themes of solstice, the celebration, the abundance, the looking forward, what do you want to be harvesting? If you don't want to be harvesting, make sure you take a moment to let it go. And then also bringing that awareness to the importance of living in the moment. And so with that, oh, sun and wind, so nice. Mm. With that, I've created a short ritual for you. And there are simply three steps. And the first one is to go and be outside and take a moment to really feel, really feel the sunlight on your skin. Feel it seeping through your skin, into your cells, into your bones. 
and really allow yourself to feel that. Feel your body relaxing, maybe your breath softening. And as you bask in how good that feels, and then allow your mind to wander to where else in your life you feel filled up in that way. Where else you feel fulfilled and joyful and warm and soft and relaxed. And take a moment to really send your gratitude to all of the people, all of the experiences in your life that have you feel like that that have you feel really filled up and let your cells feel it. Let them fill up with all the goodness, the sun and the gratitude. And then when you're so, so, so full mm, with sunlight and gratitude, then turn your awareness to this question. How can I be the source of this light? How can I be sunlight? in someone else's life? How can I bring this much joy and delight and beaming, beaming light into someone else's life or a group of people's lives? And sit with that question while you enjoy the sun. Ah, mwah. Bountiful, beautiful, solstice blessings to you, vegans. Lots and lots of love.